what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Over the past several months, Mary J. Blige and her estranged husband, Kendu, has been in an intense spousal support battle. Now, in court documents, Kendu alleges that he has experienced physical manifestations of stress and emotional distress, so much so that he has had to be hospitalized. This is causing this man too much grief. And he feels that he needs to be compensated for this. He says that he, because of all of this stress, he is unemployable and he cannot pay his rent without the assistance of Mary J. Blige and he is asking the courts for more money. He already is being paid $30,000 a month in spousal support. He wants an additional $35,000. Man, homie trying to get that money. He trying to get that bag. That boy trying to get 65 k a month. Here's the thing. You know, women, you ask for this. Y'all ask for this. Y'all did this to yourself. You know, with the whole equality thing. And I'm down for equality. Trust me. I'm down for equality. I got a daughter and I want mine to get everything that's coming to her. But this double, we have this thing where we want this equality thing, but we also like the idea of the double standards when it benefits us. Men do this too. So this is one of the things that women been taking advantage of for a long time. They've been winning on this uh, spousal support thing. Even when there's no kids, women get paid. Mill sometimes millions. And now the tables are starting to reverse just a little teeny winch winch winch. It ain't nothing major. So fellas, don't get too excited. Nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna get nothing. You know, you jump, go out there in that court trying to get some money or whatever, they're gonna still favor the woman. So <laughs> don't get too excited. But here's a situation. For me, I'm I'm a I split hairs on this for the simple fact that I just find it hard to appreciate a dude who eat off of a woman. You know, that's just, I don't know, I guess, you know, I, I was just raised like that, that a man's supposed to get his own, have his own, and, you know, even when there's a, a breakup or whatever, the man earns more money, you know, you can get a woman something. I ain't saying take care for the rest of her life if she's an able-bodied woman, but I look at it like, a man shouldn't be eating off of a woman. I just think that when you eat off of a woman, it, it chips away at your manhood. You know, I, I just look at it like that. And I know some of y'all, you know, y'all disagree with that. That's all fine and dandy. But I'm just saying for me, I've never, ever, ever in my life eaten off of a woman besides... 18 years that my mama raised me and I was living under her roof. But I've never eaten off a woman, never mooched off of a woman in my life. I remember when I was, let's see how old was I? I was 18, right? So I was 18 and I was dating this chick that was 30 years old. And, you know, we was just, you know, messing around. Wasn't no major commitment or nothing, nothing like that. We was just dating, right? And she tried to give me a car one day. She she had she was papered up, and she tried to give me one of those. Uh, I can't remember what, what was that car called. Uh, it was a little small sports car. I think was it a, a Fiat. I can't remember the name of the car, but it was one of those little cars. And I didn't have my car had broken down, and she tried to give me the car. She said, well, you know, you can just use my car and da-da-da. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Another time, she tried to uh, 
uh, give me some money. This is when I was like working for the Houston Chronicle and I lost my job and I was like, shit got real, real tight. Houston Chronicle newspaper. I was selling door-to-door -door subscriptions. Things got real tight. And she tried to give me a, some stacks. I was like, nah, I'm good. No, no. I just didn't, I just didn't want it, you know? Tried to get me to come live with her. I was like, nah, I don't want to live with a woman. Because I know a woman, it, see, a woman to call you the man of the house and that's my baby and hey, whatever you say, you got the last word, you the man of the house. And the minute she get mad at you, she'll kick your ass out of the house at four o'clock in the morning. She'll come to you one, one night like, you know what? You be up there talking that shit, talking that manly shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you need, woo -woo. you know what? Do you have my key? Where's my key? <laughs> Kick you smooth out. So a man is not going to kick a woman. In, in most cases, a man won't kick a woman out in the middle of the night and don't care where she goes as long as she get out of the house. A man's not going to do that in most cases. But some of these new dudes, some of these new era dudes, you know, they'll do it. You know, they, some of these dudes got, you know, they got them girl type ways, so they'll do it. But in most cases, a man is not gonna kick a woman out of the house at four o'clock in the morning and don't care where she goes. Now, having said all of this, women who typically make more money than men are going to be made to pay for spousal support if they make a significant amount of money more than he makes. These courts are starting to make women pay their spousal support. But 35K, they're, first of all, you're already getting $30,000. And being greedy, sometimes it backfires. Sometimes when you try to be greedy, you're so vindictive. Because that's, that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like he's being vindictive. So you're so vindictive that you go in there and you try to ask for more money. And then what happens is that the judge takes a, a closer look at your case and be like, you know what? I don't even think you deserved the $30,000 you are getting. So you mess around and make an adjustment to the $30,000. Now you done went from asking for, you done went from asking for $65,000 or, you know, asking for a total of $65,000. Now you're down to, now you're down to just trying to hold on to your thirty thousand that you already had, and the judge would be like, you know what? I don't think you deserve this thirty, and he might cut that in half, or even worse, might break you all the way down to what he think you really need, you know, a couple thousand. So I've seen this happen before on a number of, number of occasions. So you got to be careful about being vindictive and getting emotional about these situations and trying to stick stick it to people because sometimes you'll stick it to yourself. I remember this this dude, uh the GE, what was his the GE of uh Jack Welsh, the G the uh, the, uh, the the CEO of uh GE, Jack Welsh, had to come off $180 million for his wife for 14 years. $180 million. Somebody do the math. What is that per year? That's ridiculous. Hundred and one hundred and eighty million dollars. I mean, what is love worth? I look at the, the prenup, right? I think the prenups are a good idea. I think prenups are a very, very good idea. I, I used to be against it, but now the more and more that I see how scandalous, how scandalous people are, I say the prenup is a good thing. It's kind of like a a will for the living, so to speak. You can settle up. Hey, man, this is if it, if it go bad, you know this is what it is. And if you do, if you did a will, you would divvy up the proceeds of whatever your assets are in a will. So it's kind of like the same thing, except that ain't nobody die. So I don't see anything really wrong with it. Uh, I used to have that attitude, like man, well, you know, if you love, you know, what I'm saying you need to just. Be, you know, you know, just love is love and you know shouldn't have nothing to do with you know money and da 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 now nah, you you know you got to make sure you protect your assets you know uh because a lot of people 
they're not serious about this relationship thing. And they're coming in, for a lot of people, it is a hustle. So while it don't guarantee that you won't be hustled, it will put a cap on it. So that's a good thing. You shouldn't get paid if you cheat, however. If you cheat, I don't think you should get paid. I, I think you should walk away with nothing if you cheat. You know, you, people shouldn't be rewarded for bad behavior. And they say that's what happened with dude. They say he cheated on him. And he's still getting 30 racks. Man, you know, that's insult to injury. Cheated on it and cheated on it with a friend. That's cold-blooded, man. That's cold. What Jay-Z said in that song, yeah, you know, I, I did wrong, but you don't get a brother back like that. But you know how it is, y'all. All is fair in love and war. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?